Sunlow PA Plus 2.0 versus Sunlow ASA. Is it so obvious that ASA will be stronger on every testing? Well, if you are not new on this channel, then you already know the answer. Hello, welcome to my tech fan to another material testing video. This time Sunlow PLA Plus 2.0 versus Sunlow ASA. The PLA filament was sent to me by Sunlow together with that filament connector and I got too many requests to test this filament and it will be compared to the Sunlow ASA which is also in orange color. These are completely different filament types and if you are new to CD printing this will be a great example what are the main differences between these two filament types. If you are not new to see the printing, in that case uh, I'm using the same testing methods and you can compare these results to those which I did in earlier videos. And for my Patreon supporters, I'm adding these two lines to that summary table so that you can easily compare these results to any of those which I did in earlier videos or I will do in the future. And please don't be jealous to my Patreon supporters, big thanks to them because they are keeping this channel alive. YouTube algorithm don't really appreciate my videos, so without Patreon supporters there will be very minimal activity on this channel. Just very shortly, PLA, very easy for printing, but it has low temperature resistance, but you will be surprised that in many testings it will be stronger than the ASA filament. On the other side, the ASA, it is more temperature resistant, also it is UV and weather resistant, so it is great for the application which will be outdoors, but it is a little bit harder for printing because of that warping, so it is recommended to use the printer with some kind of enclosure. I'm preparing the 10 ESA filament comparison from different brands and I'm missing a 10 filament, so that's why I bought this one. You will see that video also maybe in a month or less. These bags are resealable, don't forget to cut it above the ceiling line. Color is slightly different, the peel is a little bit lighter compared to the ASA. Maybe it is interesting to mention that the new spool has a small hole diameter, this means it is compatible with AMS light. Until here we need to print some ring adapter. The PLA will be printed on Babolab P1P, which is open printer. And this is still the first element, not to 30 degrees Celsius. ASA will be printed on X1 carbon and it will have only two elements from 270 down to 260 degrees Celsius. ASA second element is almost finished. PLA, this is the last element. Let's take a closer look. Engineering plate works great with ASA. Both temperature tower looks great, no stringing, the overhang came out great. By the way, this element is 270 degrees Celsius, only at that time they didn't predict printing on so high temperatures, so I used this element, but the print temperature was correct. Different settings for generic PLA, 220 under nozzle and 15 will be the max flow, ASA 270 under nozzle, and these are the different cooling settings for this generic ABS material, later I will try to reduce it. Both printing times will be less than 1 hour, this is ASA and this is PLA. Last two elements and the temperature inside the enclosure is uh, 50 degrees Celsius and uh, soon the P1P will be finished too. Everything is printed, ready for mechanical testing. Before mechanical testing I want to show you one more thing and that's the shrinking. The design length of this test object is 80 millimeters and this is almost equal. But with ASA probably we have some shrinking. Definitely yes. And this means that uh, with this we have more warping. But also the dimensional accuracy is also better with the PLA. And this is important for mechanical parts. Tensile tests with the horizontally printed test objects. And here you can see the average values. This is the layer adhesion test with vertically printed objects. A little bit low for the ASA. I reprinted these test objects for the layer attention test with the lower part cooling, but I can see now that the cooling is not enough here, but let's see if we will have better layer attention. ASA with reprinted test objects. And this time was better. And from bad layer adhesion it became a good layer adhesion, but the sweet spot is somewhere between because this quality is not good enough. Two-sided shear stress, and for this I have horizontally and vertically printed test objects. I'm starting with horizontally printed, side by side two materials, we are a little bit stronger here. And these are vertically printed where the layer attention is important. And again ASA very weak. 
Similar brake ties, but the numbers are very different. And now the torque or twist test. Again, I have horizontally and vertically printed test objects. These are printed horizontally. I'm recording the load at 90 degree rotation and the maximum load. 1.5. With vertically printed, uh, they will break very suddenly. So here I have only the maximum load. Similar numbers, but very different brake types. The impact test with this half kilogram hammer, and here I'm expecting some bigger difference. The ESA should be much stronger here. Peely, zero position. ESA, wow. I don't see this too often that the object doesn't break. I will reprint this test object and I will repeat this test on this machine from the eBay. I have a separate video about this machine. Currently the main problem with it is that uh, these weights are too big. I'm waiting some lighter ones because usually it is too much for this silicon printed plastic. But in this case this will be perfect. Sanlo ese. Zero position. The temperature test in the oven, and here I'm expecting some bigger difference, of course. Uh, this is PLA and this is ESA. Strange blinking from the thermometer, but with materials, no surprises here. PLA started to deform at 52 degrees Celsius and ESA at approximately 91 degrees. As expected, I'll stop the experiment now. After only one minute, I'm able to touch the materials. Of course, the PL is more elastic compared to the ASA, but this is obvious. The grip test, the deformation under the constant load, which will be 1.25 kilograms. And this time I'm recording here in the basement because here I have very constant room temperature. Because I believe on this temperature, maybe the PL will be even better compared to the ASA. But after five days, if that will be the case, then I will move them outside and definitely things will change. Yes, more deformation I can see on the ASC part, but let's measure it. 1530, 1672. I already measured them only after one day the deformation became equal. This is day five, I already measured them and on PLA every day I could measure one millimeter additional deformation until basically the ASC stopped with deformation after first day. Now let's remove the load. And this is their deformation after 5 minutes, so much more deformation we can see on the PLA. 3 point bending test speed up video, and you can notice on the right side is the ASC filament, and we can see more deformation on it. Currently, this is under 5 kg load, and pay attention on the under 10 kg, it is continuously deforming. And after this test, I can see more permanent deformation on the ASC part. And now the results, so let's start with the creep test. So here we can see the dimension, the distance between two reference surfaces, but what we need is actually the difference between two days. But even here we can see that uh, the ASA had a bigger start deformation, but actually it stopped after one day until the PLA continued with deformation even on the last day. And the difference between two days we can see on this graph, or this is that creeping. On a 10 side test, uh, let's say no big difference, but PLA was stronger a little bit. On the layer adhesion test with vertically printed test objects, the PLA is uh, stronger compared to the ASA with the default uh, part cooling. But you saw when I reduced the part cooling, it was much stronger, but of course in that case those overhangs didn't come out good. On the shear stress, we have horizontally and vertically printed test objects. A horizontally printed test objects, no big difference if PLA was a little bit stronger, but with the vertically printed test objects where the layer adhesion is important, here the PLA was much stronger compared to the ASA. Three-point bending test, and this is a deformation under these loads after 30 seconds, but uh, maybe this is more interesting where we can see the deformation under these loads after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. And uh, smaller values are better, of course, so this means the PLA was better. But also it is important to notice that on high loads we can see some continuous deformation of the ASA. This is some kind of creeping here. On torque or twist test, uh, again we have the horizontal and vertically printed test objects. With the horizontal, this is the load at 90 degree rotation. The PLA was a little bit stronger here. And with vertically, where the layer extension is important, pillars was again stronger. I thought the ASA will be weaker. This is quite acceptable here. 
on the impact test, well, this is the test where the ASA shines, so it was much, much stronger compared to the PLA, so the PLA is very brittle material and ASA tough material. Another important property we can see on the temperature test uh, where the ASA is much better compared to the PLA and actually these values are the average values for these materials. And of course let's don't forget the shrinking, uh, if we need some accurate mechanical part in that case the PLA has uh, less shrinking so it will be much more accurate compared to the ASA. Just for curiosity, did you learn something new today or there was no surprises here? Actually one thing I noticed I analyzed a little bit better that uh, summary table, you know, for my pattern supporters, and I noticed that maybe there is some kind of correlation between weaker layer adhesion and the resistance to the impact. I'm not sure why, but I saw this, uh, you know, with the uh, ESAN ABS Plus and similar. Maybe we have some kind of leaf spring effect here. I think I have to investigate a little bit deeper this. Anyway, uh, just a small reminder, if you like these kind of videos, uh, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button too, because very easily you can skip new uploads, because in most cases the notification is not sent to my regular subscribers, only to those who click that notification bell button too. Anyway, until that, thank you for watching and happy printing!